Hey folks, hey, want to tell you, appreciate y'all being with me today. We had a great day today. Uh, thanks to all my fans out there. Go to stevecumlander.com to buy your merchandise. We got our new shirts coming. Uh, probably a month, a uh, couple weeks in the before they come. But uh, today, uh, we fished with the double rig, uh, and I've, tr I've showed it before, but uh, I've added uh, a lead. You see a swivel there? And then I go down to a gup shrimp on the top today. And then about, uh, I guess, foot and a half below it, I got another jig and a lead on it. And uh, we got eight pound test uh, today and uh, one eighth ounce heads. And that's what we caught our fish on. We had a, a good day. Uh, it was slow. You catch a few here and a few there. It wasn't a lot of one right after another. But we had a good day. And uh, I don't, I didn't have it all on video, but I appreciate y'all being with me. And I'm gonna show you a couple of them super dog supremes that we caught today. I mean, we uh, we caught a lot of little fish, but we had we caught a good many big fish too. Uh, not all on camera, but look at the size of them perch. Now, people, them some super dog supreme magnum perch, and this is what we after right here in Lake Murray. Big perch, almost big as white bass. Uh, they're huge, and uh, that's the kind of like to catch. But they're getting eggs in them. They're getting ready. They're moving up in shallow water, uh, especially when they're after the rain, when the water got a little dingy. So they pushed up in 18, 15, 18, 20, 25 foot of water. Uh, I started too deep this morning, messed my time up. But we finally figured them out, and we caught a good mess. Thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode. Hey, and you got to love it. We'll see you. Good morning, folks. The old fisherman. Hey, we're back with you once again. Today we're on Lake Murray. It's a uh, Monday morning and it's cloudy and uh, cold. And we out here struggling again. I got about 15 fish. Just now turned on the camera. I started kind of deep, 30 foot or so. Then I went to, in the ditch run at about 20 and caught a fish. Well, I've been struggling catching one here, one there, slow. Water still stained. Uh, it's settling down a little bit. Hey, there's one. But uh, I moved in here. <clears throat> I moved in here a little shallower. We on 18 foot of water. I've been fishing too deep. You know, I always said I preach, the dingier the water, the shallower the fish. Well, the dilemma was temperature of the water is 49 degrees. And I kept thinking deeper, deeper. Well, I eased in a little pocket in uh, 18 foot, and I just caught three fish, and we turned it on the camera. Uh, I'm thinking the doggone fish have been shallow all day is what I'm thinking. And uh, I've been fishing too deep. This dingy water has pushed these fish into little pockets. And uh, that's where they're at, in shallow water. Look at that. There was a bite right there. 18, 20 foot is where I'm finding the fish today. Now, I just figured it out, and we're going to see if we can put it to them. Look at that. Ha! Huh? Look at that. Hey, sometimes you just can be so close, but yet so far. You got that in the belly. Hey, sometimes you can be so close, but yet so far. I've been fishing one night out. Oh, my camera's okay or not. I got to look at it. Sorry about that. Excuse me a minute. I think it's okay, though. Look kind of funny. Bear with me. But, uh, hey, it's a fact. We've been fishing too deep. And I was just wondering, what in the world am I going to do? And I moved in one more notch. And I believe, in my heart, I believe that we are on some fish. Now, I'm thinking we're on a pile of fish. And the doggone jokers is 20, 21 foot. And I think we got plenty of them down there. Why my doggone camera looks so dark looking? I know it's a dark day, but gee. All right, see if we can catch a couple. 
They, they is. We own them. Hey, I feel like we're getting on them now. And we're using, uh, right now, I don't have the gup miller on. The gup alive, I got two gup shrimp. Uh, a new penny and a, uh, uh-oh, didn't get a bite that time. We got a new penny and a molten color on. Uh-oh, got a couple bites. And now, I see them fading away already. Let's take this thing off spot lock. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. There he is. They're not real big. They're a medium-sized perch, which is typical for Lake Murray shallow water. But uh, hey, at this point, we'll just have to take what we can get. But they hit me. The doggone new penny go up shrimp. The water stain you see about a foot deep, and it disappears. And uh, hey, if it's stained water, you better go shallow. I'm telling you right now. If it's stained water, you better go 20 or less. That's where the fish are, 20 or less. Stained water. Remember that. I knew it was fishing this area. This is the area I caught them in the other day. Last week before the water got muddy. And I've been fishing too deep the whole time. And now, we own them, and you got to love that. Somebody asked me, uh, show my rig well all i got is a swivel and two lines coming off of it right up under the swivel on my shortest line i got a little lead and in between my two jigs on the longest line i got a little lead with an eighth ounce g heads <coughs> that's what i'm using and right now we got the gup shrimp on not the gup minnow i got some gup minnows right here i just hadn't put them on yet Uh, I actually went to the gut shrimp because of the new penny color. I wanted to try that orange and, and uh, thinking that would help. They bump, they bump it. And that's what I done. Hey, we got a lot of fish down there. I, I seen uh, they're stirring up pretty good here. We just catch them. Probably need to do the coming on a circle swing. They want it kind of pulling sideways. And if you do it with your rod, <coughs> excuse me. If you got it on spot lock, you can do it with your rod one way. If you don't bite it, you let it back down to the bottom, oh, the one popped it going back down, and go the other way. There he is, oh, missed it. We got some fish on us now. We might catch us a mess now. They ain't that big, hey, but it's okay. Somebody wanted me to go uh, do a bass video. I'm not gonna do a bass video. I'm, uh, bass is too slow to do a doggone video and talk. You got to cast and cast and cast. That is not my bag anymore. I did it one time. I like vertical fishing straight down on them. And I've got bass catching uh, videos to catching a few bass. But for me just to go bass fishing, cast the bank or whatever, I'm not going to do that. Not unless I'm in a ditch and I find them and they're real good. Hey, that's a good one right there. Hey. That's a good one right there. That, that could be a bass. That could be a bass. Oh, it's a big old slab perch. Look at that. What? People. He hit a doggone orange gut shrimp. I went to orange because of the dingy water. Look at the size of this perch. Huh? Look at the size of that perch. That, my friend, is a jumbo super dog supreme magnet. Hey, I want to give a shout out to a, a Sarah and Ronnie, and uh, I got it wrote down in here. I can't remember the doggone last name, Sonogo, uh, but anyhow, I want to pronounce it right. Sarah Sonog Son Sonongo, S A G O N A. I can, I'm not good at Sonago, Sonago. Sonago, that's what it is. Ronnie and Sarah, they look at my show. Sorry about that, Ronnie. I'm, I'm butchering your name. But, uh, hey, they watch my show, and uh, they love it, and I appreciate y'all watching the Old Fisherman videos. Thank you so much. Thanks to all my fans out there that watch the Old Fisherman. Hey, Miss Deborah is, uh, has ordered, uh, fixing to order some doggone more shirts and I'd like to get out of the shirt business. Miss Deborah, she likes to do things now. Look at her. She likes to, 
She's got some tote bags. Hey, go to stevecumberland.com. Uh, or just click on my link to my store. And uh, she's got tote bags. She's got different color fish towels. That girl's done gone haywire with all this embroidery stuff. But, uh, hey, you might like it. Uh, the tote bags, if, you, if you're fishing with, with your buddy, you can put some of your tackles, a uh, couple of your uh, little plastic boxes in there with your baits in them and, and, and uh, be mighty easy to tote them, to tote them uh, into a boat. And, um, hey, being in that bag, they won't, fl they won't fly out the boat because, hey, it ain't been long ago, I found a daggone tackle box floating, and it was full of top water plugs. Uh, 13 top water plugs floating there. One of them bass boats them floated out the boat. And a buddy of mine found a uh, tackle box the other day floating with a bunch of crappy jigs in it. So, hey, you guys want to fly down the boat, you might want to buy one of, uh, down the lake, you might want to buy one of Miss Deborah's doggone tote bags. Uh, and put your stuff in that tote bag and, uh, and uh, it might not fly out the boat. Good idea, Miss Deborah. She comes up with all kind of ideas. Hey, we own some white perk people. We killing them right now, and some of them good ones. We finally figured them out all day. I was fixing to give up and go back towards my house. Boy, would that have been a mistake. And I said, you know something? I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing. Dingy water, shallow fish. And when I mean shallow, instead of 30 foot, 20 foot, 15 foot, in the wintertime, 49 degree water. It's cold, but the fish uh, are kind of in here pushed in a little dip. And we killing them, people. We killing them. Got it on spot lock, and they eating it slam up. And I mean some jumbo super supremes, and you have got to love it fishing. With the old fisherman, hey, I got people out there want to know why come I ain't striper fishing? Why am I perch fishing? Hey, no limit. I can catch as many as I want. Striper fishing right now, they catching them with a bucktail casting, but I don't like to run the birds. I don't like that. I don't like butting heads with a bunch of people running birds. And that's why I don't do that. I'd rather get by myself, fish straight down vertical and catch these fish like I do it's a lot more fun to me than fighting a, a, a group of people going up the lake chasing birds. Them stripers, I love catching them with a flutter spoon, but I do not like to catch them in the wintertime chasing birds. I mean, I like to catch them, but I can't deal with all the, uh, the competition with boats running over each other. That's not my bag. My bag is to get by myself, find my own fish, and catch them, not having to watch for a bird to catch them. And uh, hey, that's that's the way I feel. Hey, it's good fishing though. They catching them. They using a bucktail with a uh, uh, a little ice fly or something, a double rig. When you use a double rig, you want your bucktail in the front and your and your ice fly, which is lighter, in the back. <clears throat> but I just love catching these doggone white perch. I love action, and I can't help it. Hey. I like a tug on my line too now. I like them stripers, but you can't keep it. You got, they got to be 21 inches, so most of them you're going to catch right now. A lot of them you're going to throw them back, <coughs> which is no problem. But hey, I like the action, like to be able to uh, take these perch home and, and feed them to my family and friends or whoever might want some perch. We try to have a good time. We try to make a video, and it's hard to make a video cutting in, cutting out. This is real time fishing. This is like you in the boat with me fishing and we talking and we catching. Uh, a lot of these fishing videos, I ain't knocking nobody now, but a lot of the fishing videos, they cut in, cut out. They might fish for three hours and catch two fish uh, uh, or so. And they just keep collecting the, the information of the, of the film. And that's what they show in little clips, which I talk and now I will show here lately. I have been putting five or six different sections together to make a different video because, hey, people, fishing's been tough. It's been tough. But, uh, hey, we enjoying life. Hey, it's warming up a little bit, and this water is starting to settle down a little bit. So it's probably going to get better this week. So now that I've found out where to go, a little bit shallower, per se, uh, we're probably going to get on some fish. 
they I kind of they kind of moved off here, but uh, let's see what we can do. See if we can do that come around circle swing and get one to bite it. We're gonna put it on about three, two or three, and we're just gonna pull this boat a little bit, and we're gonna drag these baits and see if they'll take it like that. They might not. Hey, but we're catching a few in love and life. But I went to sale a while ago. Miss Deborah's ordered some more shirts. And they're going to be uh, orange for Clemson Orange since they won the championship. And, uh, of course, I got I can't leave my, my Carolina Gamecock color out. So it's orange and garnet. Uh, and they're going to have on them. Uh-oh, that got off. Uh, drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie is going to be on the back and you got a uh, striper i think it's miss different found a striper it's hard to find these fish uh for the prints on these shirts and it's got a uh spoon in it similar to a flutter spoon with a line curled and then under that is you got to love it and in front it says the old fisherman uh and i think the carolina and the clemson combination colors orange and burg and, and garnet is going to be a good good thing to have and we ordered some three eggs last time i only ordered up two eggs we got a few three eggs so you big boys if when them shirts come on sale which i don't know when they're going to be here it might be a couple weeks but when they come on sale they're going to be a little bit uh, lighter than ones i had last time ones i had last time was heavy uh and uh they're going to be a little bit lighter than the one i had last time and uh, hope y'all enjoy them. Hope you buy them. Because I ordered 300. 300. I think 300. 250, 300. They get gone. We'll order some more. But uh, I think you're going to like the way they look. Uh, hopefully. And we still got a few hats left. And we got a few of the old shirts left. But not many. Just a couple. We finally about weeded them out. And uh, but we got that store. SteveCumlander.com. And or you can click uh, click on the link if you go to my greeting where I got that uh, show it uh, talks about what I'm doing. You got a little link over there to go to the store, and I think Miss Deborah's got that link at the end of the, end of the shows, but I'm not sure. But if you pull up my my uh, YouTube show where I'm talking about what I'm doing, I'm going fishing and, and taking y'all with me, and uh, it's not going to be. Uh, for certain types of fish, it's going to be for what's biting, what I think I can catch and make a video. And right now, that's white perch. I'd love to get on some crappers, and I tried some crappers this morning. It ain't going to be long. They're going to be. It's a place over that looks so good. Uh, it was probably about 12 foot, uh, 12 foot of, or 15 foot of water with a dog on, and water's down, so you can see a little brush sticking out the water. And, on a, on a turn and a creek, and man, it was the kind of places we used to tear them up. We used to take a long rod, a fly rod, and a doggone uh, 16th or uh, 32nd head, and put a crappy jig on it, just ease it down by that trash. In January and February, these fish start building eggs up in them. They're gonna start pushing in these ditches. That's what these perch are doing. They're coming off them big channels. That's in Lake Murray now. It's different Lake Murray and Lake Monticello, but Lake Murray, they, they're getting out the mainstream and, and starting to run ditches and, and valleys and, and getting ready to push up uh, uh, the spawn. As them eggs get bigger, it pushes them up. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can get back on these fish. I was on them, but I got talking. But just a few things and let you know what's going on. And again, I want to thank uh, uh, Richard Jane. Uh, he mentioned me on his show, and I got over 100 subscribers overnight. Uh, Richard Jean helped me out tremendously, and uh, and I emailed Richard and gave him my phone number, and hopefully one day he'll give me a call, and we can talk. Uh, I'd love to go see Richard. I would love to get in the boat with Richard Jean. That would be nice. And compare notes. But thanks to all the uh, Richards fans, uh, and uh, quite a few of them have come over and watching the old fishermen. Some of them made some nice comments that they like my show so far. And uh, hey, you got a lot of videos to go back and catch up on. 
When I first started, uh, I didn't do any editing whatsoever. So it was like you, I, I didn't have it fancy. It was just plain. I turned it on and turned it off. And and uh, back when I first started, my my uh, camera wouldn't hold but about 15, 20 minutes worth of videos, and it fill up. Uh, I don't do it with a YouTube like Richard. And uh, and I noticed. Uh, I've got an editing program, but it's not really good. It's kind of blotchy. Y'all might see it kind of quivering. I'm going to try to change that. I'm going to try to get a better editing program. If any of y'all out there watching this show knows a good editing program, I bought this one about $60, $70, and I figured it was going to be that cheap. It probably wouldn't be as good. But uh, I'm looking for an editing program. Uh, to do my videos a little bit better than what we're doing. We're trying to get better. Uh, the song at the end, we had a song on there forever at the end of the video, <coughs> and all of a sudden, YouTube wouldn't let me monetize, which put, it means put commercials on my shows because that song was a third-party song. Well, we found that song and thought we had all the rights to it. It wasn't, uh, wasn't going to be a problem, and we used it for a while, but finally YouTube stopped us. But now we pick one of YouTube's songs, which is free songs uplo uh, uploaded off of YouTube, and, uh, and I'm liking it probably better. We got new music at the end of our show, and, and I'll put up there. I got people asking me who, uh, what's the name of the song. Miss Deborah done that, and I don't have a clue. I got to get with her tonight. And find out what in the world the name of that song is and and the artist and uh, maybe I can get her to put it on my uh, on the list on my show but uh and I have not I'll uh have one if not I'll uh I'll put it up there somehow or another if it's in the comments what or uh, who's saying who's playing that song it's like a little whistle it sounds fishy and that's why we picked it all right, we need to start focusing. We done done enough talking. And, but I got one more story I'm going to tell you before I quit. <laughs> I'll tell you, I get to talking, I can't stop. And hopefully, we'll catch a couple of fish while I'm telling. Mike Brandon wanted me to tell, uh, of course, he wanted to tell me the spark plug. He wanted me to say this, tell the spark plug uh, story again. And uh, that was for Arthur Woods. Arthur Woods... Uh, He's up there in age, and he watches all my shows, and I always want to say hello to Arthur. And, uh, and like I said, uh, Sarah and David. But uh, also, he wanted me to tell that he, that spark plug uh, story I told yesterday was for, to repeat that story. Uh, Mike asked me to, and he asked me to tell the one about my dog. So I'm gonna tell the one about the dog again. I told all these stories once, but yeah, listen, I got almost 500 videos. A lot of people might not never hear it, so I'm gonna tell it again. But anyhow, I was in Lake, right here on Lake Murray, and I had my 20-foot bass boat, and uh, I decided uh, I had a cockapickapoo, and of course he's all hairy, you know they they uh, uh, got pretty long hair. He was a golden color. And I decided I was going to take that jug of fishing. Well, I took that jug of fishing. And, uh, and we was in the, at the lake, and I was riding around. And, of course, he was in there, jumped on the back deck, and I took off. I didn't pay no attention. I gunned it, took on off. And uh, next thing I know, I can't find my dog. I go up the lake. No dog. Well, I, I'd probably been riding about 10 minutes. So I backtracked. Got to look and couldn't find him. He wasn't in the boat. So apparently I done threw him out. I got to backtrack and went back up the lake for miles. And there he was out in the middle of the lake swimming around in circles. About, about drown my poor dog. I pulled him in. And you're talking about a dog happy to see somebody? Oh, my goodness. That thing about broke my heart. I got me in trouble, too. After my wife heard about that, it hey, wasn't no more taking the dog fishing, I can tell you that. To this day, my wife won't let me take no dog fishing. But, uh, hey, that happened. There's a fish. There's a fish. 
Dude, the dog out the boat and left it. Some of these are little. Hey, some of them are really little. Like that right there, he's really little. We're gonna throw him back. We might have to put on that gut miller. But when I first stopped, it was fish everywhere. Kind of fading off. They probably just moved a little bit. We'll probably get back on them. We're in 24 foot of water for one thing. We got out too deep. We got to get back in and see. Not focusing. I done pulled myself out deep. Let's get back in and focus on a few fish now. Quit telling stories. See if we can catch some more of them. I know it's some more here. Around here somewhere. All we got to do is catch them. That's all we got to do is catch them. I feel like they're here. And I feel like it's probably some big ones in here somewhere. We get on the right little batch. Ooh, that was a bite. That was a bite. All right, Fisher. We ready for you. Well, yeah. We ready for you. Let's pull in here a little shallow. I'm thinking we're too deep. I got to talk and I pulled off to where I was fishing. You got a little turn here and the creek's right out there and you got a couple little dips. These fish like to get in little dips, little side pockets, so to say, uh-oh, that ain't good. That is a side brush pile right there or something. I'm hung on. I'm hung on something. That ain't good. Let's see if we can get back on the... A lot of times you get hung up pulling, you go back the opposite direction and it'll pull off of it. But don't try to set the hook too hard uh, and stick it in or whatever you done hung. Sometimes you can get it off, sometimes you can't. So we're going to turn this boat and we're going to go back the way we come from and see if we can shake that thing off. And we're going to snatch it a couple of times as we go back. It might not come off. It might not come off. If both of them jigs are hooked, we're in trouble. And if it's a brush pile, we're in trouble. A stump. And we might be in trouble. There it comes. See that? Go back the opposite way, a little slack at a 45, and a lot of times it'll come off. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's take off this gut shrimp at the bottom and put us a gut minnow on. Let's do that, see what happens. Couple live metal. Smel uh, smelt color. All right, Let's see if we can get back on some fish. I don't see any right now. We don't know them, too. I sure got off of them. There for a little bit. Hey, we caught a few. No question about that one. Drop it back out now and see if we catch another. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. When I first started there, right before I turned on that camera, man, they were everywhere too. So I, I believe they're gonna taper it off a little bit. Now I don't see them. We just got to find another bass. I, I think we're gonna have to locate them in 20 foot of water or less. That's what I think we got. The 20 foot range is the, is the key range, I think, right here today. Might change tomorrow, but right here today, 20 foot. This is where the majority of these fish are. Because of the stained water, I think. Can't get a bite now. That ain't good. Kind of slow troll this thing until we get a bite, and then we turn it back around, and, and hopefully there'll be a pile of them there wherever we got the bite. That's what we got to try to do. And quit on me. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. 
That's a pretty nice one. That doggone orange gup shrimp is what they want now. New penny, color the water. They gone no orange. They ain't hitting that natural color. I tried to get me some doggone gup money with that chartreuse in it, but they were sold out. They'd probably hit that one. <clears throat> there he is. Getting back at him again, see? See what he's on. Oh, he's on the gut manner, but boy, he's little. <laughs> he's little, and I caught him on the side of the face, so he didn't, he, he hit at it, he didn't take it. Drop it back down to the bottom. What a big boy life. They in here, they in here shallow. Where they at? They, like I say, they ain't all big though. They a size smaller than I'd like to catch, but you better not say nothing, might not catch nothing. They liking that gup, you pin the shrimp now, I can tell you that right now. They eating that thing alive. I ought to put, if they don't soon hit that gup metal, I'll put me a colorful Big Daddy on there and see if they'll take it. You know how I like to experiment. Look at that, oh Lord. Hey, we, get, we getting on some fish now. Get some fish in here. There he is. There he is. What? There he is. Fair size. He's on the gup, uh, gup alive, Miller. Double back down with a big boy. I like to get in some pounders. And pounders are somewhere. You can guarantee on that. Hey, folks, move a little bit. See if we catch a couple more here. Before we go home. Oh, Lake Murray. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy. I went 17 foot of water and there's a few fish down there. See if we can catch them. There he is. There he is. There he is. Jumbo Magnum. Nice one. Huh? Nice one. Throw it back out and see if we can get them done. Catch them all on the orange gut shrimp today. They're not hitting that doggone uh, gup of live minnow color, smelt color. Hitting the orange gup shrimp today. What we catching? There he is. Hey, we got it going on now. They're all of them hitting the orange gup shrimp, every one of them. Every one of them. All right, drop it to the bottom. Let's catch some more. Let's catch some more. Who got to love fishing with the old fishermen? It's been cold day today. All day long, overcast and cold. The sun's starting to get out a little bit. Get a little brighter. Hey, and we own some fish. I don't know how long they'll stay there. Problem is, we catch them 17 foot and they're shallow. And uh, they, uh, they don't stay there long. But it's good ones. It's 17 foot deep. And every one of them's on an orange gup shrimp. Every one of them. Not touching the doggone gup alive money. There he is. Huh? There he is. <sighs> they ain't big, though. That ain't. Throw him back. Up to the bottom. All day long I've had this boat that keeps coming up. Every time a gull dies beside me, it comes, keeps coming toward me. And they, they keep running up on me and running my fish down, and here they come again. If I get anywhere close to a gull diving, them jokers will run me over every time. Very rude people. All day long they've been doing it, and here they come again, so they're going to get on video this time. They mess me up every time they run in on me. That's a good one right there. That's a good one right there. That is a jumbo super dog supreme. You got to love it. The old fisherman loving life. Hey, look at that. Look at the size of that sucker. That's a big one, ain't it? They come that boat, though. Oh, what's wrong with that fella? He sees a gull diving, he'll run over you just to get the throw on him. He's coming right in on me again. 
Hey, he is. Now I'm on the fish, too. You're gonna mess me up again. These are good ones in here. These are good ones in here. And we're trying to catch them. If the people would leave us alone. Hey, folks. Hey. Glad y'all was with me today. We had a pretty good day. We caught, uh, I'm guessing, 30. And we got some jumbo magnums. We're holding up a couple of these jumbo magnums. We got a couple of super dog supremes. Look here. I mean, them some fine white perch people. Hey. But we uh, caught a mess, had a good day, enjoyed being with y'all, and thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode. And we'll get back with you on another day. See ya.